Imagine you're at a party with 23 people. What are the chances that two of you share the same birthday? You might think it's pretty low, right? Maybe 5%, 10% at best? Well, actually, the probability is over 50%. This is the famous birthday paradox, and today we're going to break it down. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the No Brainer for science, history, and philosophy, and check out our Instagram and X for more content. At first, this seems very counterintuitive. After all, there are 365 days in a year, so shouldn't you need way more people for a 50 50 chance? Well, the trick is that we're not comparing people to a single fixed birthday, we're comparing all of them to each other. That's a lot of pairings, isn't it? Let's break down the math behind this birthday paradox. The first person has a birthday on any of 365 days. The second person has a 364 out of 365 chance of not sharing that birthday. And the third person, 363 out of 365. Multiply these probabilities together for 23 people. And you will see that the chance of no shared birthday is actually below 50. That means the chance of at least one match is over 50. But let's go deeper. How does this actually work? What does this math question actually show us? Well, the number of unique pairing between people grows exponentially. With 23 people, the number of unique birthday comparisons is 23 times 22 over 2. Which is 253. That means there's 253 different chances for a shared birthday. The probability starts small but compounds fast as we add more people. If we increase the group to just 30 people, the probability jumps to nearly 70%, and at 57 people, it's an astonishing 99%. The phenomenon is called the birthday paradox. But why does this probability rise so quickly? Because of how probability multiplication works. So we're dealing with an exponential effect where each new person adds several new possible pairs to consider. This rapid increase is what makes the paradox so surprising. A common mistake is thinking about a specific birthday rather than any shared birthday. In the birthday paradox, if you ask what's the chance of someone at the party that shares my birthday, the odds are very much lower, like you expect. But if we're asking what's the chance of two people matching, that's where things get interesting. The birthday paradox dates back to the early 20th century, where statisticians began exploring probability theories in greater depths. The concept was popularized by Richard von Mises and Harold Davenport, who used it to illustrate how human intuition often fails when dealing with probabilities. However, the root of this concept go back even further. In the 18th century, Swiss mathematicians Dion Bernoulli and French mathematician Pierre Simon Laplace laid foundational work in probability. This later influenced the understanding of problems like the birthday paradox. Laplace, known for his contributions to statistics, studied how probabilities accumulate over large sets of data, an idea essential to understanding why the birthday paradox works. By the 1930s and 40s, with the rise of modern statistics, this paradox became a staple example in probability and combinatorics. Helping students and researchers alike grasp the counterintuitive nature of probability theory. If you think about it, this isn't just a party trick; it has real applications. The birthday paradox is used in cryptography, hash functions, and even collision detection in computer science. For example, cryptographic hash functions rely on uniqueness. But just like birthdays, duplicates or collisions happen much sooner than you'd expect, which can be exploited in security breaches. Probability isn't just a mathematical curiosity; it governs much of the world around us, from predicting the weather to assessing risks in insurance and medicine. Probability theory help us make informed decisions.
The same principle behind the birthday paradox are used in fields like epidemiology, where scientists predict disease outbreaks, and in genetics, where inherited traits follow pr- probability distributions. Understanding probability can make you a sharp thinker and a better decision maker. However, the birthday paradox is just one of many examples where probability defies our intuition. Have you ever heard of the Monty Hall problem? It suggests that switching doors in a game show actually increases your chance of winning, or the gambler fallacy, where people wrongly believe that random events influence future ones. By understanding probabilities better, we can avoid common reasoning mistakes and see the world more clearly. So next time you're at a party, ask around. You might just prove the birthday paradox in real time. Probability is full of surprise, and this is just a tip of the iceberg. What do you think? Have you ever found a birthday twin? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more content on the No Brainer for science, history, and philosophy. And check out our Instagram and X for more content.